How is life going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, bringing a bit of symmetry into this video production. This final mission for the Lost and Damned walkthrough video series that I have done. Through 23 videos, I have given hints, tips, and tricks on how to survive and thrive in the violent motorcycle gang world that is the lost and Johnny's journey from just being the vice president to eventually the bitter end is one of woe and sorrow now this final video it's pretty straightforward it's a gun battle and the good part is you can repeat it as often as you want because clay or i think it is terry will bring the gun van around and when you restart you just reload but i'm sad to see this end i forgot how short it was but this was the best GTA um, video uh, game, I guess, or part of a video game that, you know, I mean, next to GTA San Andreas, The Lost and Damned, probably my favorite to play. And I forgot how good this really was and how intense it really was. I thank you for viewing all my videos. Hopefully, I've helped out if you are replaying this game, and all those who've liked or shared or whatever, I really appreciate it, but let's get on with the final mission, and the final mission is called Get Lost. This mission will be initiated when Johnny gets a call from Congressman Stubbs. Now, if you saved after, was it worth it? Well. It might take a few minutes, so have Johnny take a walk around the clubhouse. Maybe go look for some body armor or something until Stubbs calls, at which point it will be a very interesting call. And it should be happening right about now. I'm not in the mood to do any killing for the supposed elite today. You're going to have to get your own hands dirty, Stubbs. Oh, spare me the lectures. This is important, Jonathan. Important enough for me to come down from my ivory tower and rub elbows with you blue-collar types on the wrong side of the West River. Meet me at your clubhouse. I drink single malt. All Johnny has to do is walk back to the clubhouse, walk back into an arrow, and this mission will be initiated. Now, Johnny already has body armor. So I'm just going to run him back to the clubhouse and get this mission started. It's a firefight. And I'll kind of explain once Johnny talks to Congressman Stubbs and informs you of some interesting events. Hey! <laughs> nice place you got here, Johnny. Not quite sure I meet the dress code, but I think I like the smoking policy. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a friend? Are we friends? Well, I think so. You've certainly seen me naked. You want a cigar? Do you want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. But listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about him. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do, stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. Thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he calls you, You'll do 15 years, and he'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. 
And there's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, you call me when you get there. I might have something to help you with. Good. I'll need it. Hey, one more thing, Stubbs. Why are you doing this? I told you. I was good for a favor. Here we are playing the Medal of Death. Johnny rides to Alderney State Correctional Institution to kill Billy. And, well, he's going to need Terry and the gun van and some friends. I'm going to fast forward through the ride. Not eventful unless you run into a cop car. And then things get a little weird, but again, just ride to the prison and get there. Do you hear me? Out of control! You're getting out of here? Oh, haven't you enjoyed your time in the state's care? What a fucking pleasure! Terry, man, we gotta pay our friend Billy a visit. You've been talking. Bring Clay and bring all the fucking firepower you got. Meet me at the Alderney State Correctional. I'm waiting. Johnny has called Terry and the gun van. And he's going to arm up, and I'm going to explain what you need to arm up with in order to succeed. First thing you want to do is body armor. If you don't have it, body armor. Or, in this case, okay, yeah, there we go, body armor. Body armor, hand grenades, and as much ammo for the... Um, well, I'm taking the grenade launcher too, but then you want rocket launcher, as many rockets as you can carry, and as much ammo as you can carry for your weapons, the carbine rifle, the shotgun, etc. And again, you want, I took grenade launcher, but it didn't click, and you got grenades and I can tell you right now, grenades are much better for you in this mission. So let's get on with blowing the doors using the rocket launcher and start this battle up right. You boys ready? I'm about to bust this open with the rocket launcher. My ex fucking hated it when I smoked. <laughs> Once you blow the prison doors, first thing you want to do is take the guys down on the wall. And then you want to move forward. You don't want to shoot your own guys. There are a lot of guards. And in this case, I'm going to flip over to the rocket launcher and take out that van. And yeah, I'm going to. This is a little bit wonky, but yeah, I'm going to flip to the rocket launcher. And take out the damn van here before I get shot, shot up. And take out the van, fire a few more rockets off at the guards, and it kind of bumps them around. Flip to the uh, carbine and move in, take cover, and shoot up the guards. Like this guy right here. And then you provide cover fire for the other members, and you take down the guards. This is a pretty intense fight, but you got to move and keep cover. Take the guys down in this yard area. It'll make it easier while they're keeping a few of the other guards occupied. Remember, you don't get body armor in this. You might get a few chances to boost Johnny's life up again. But you got to keep in cover and you got to keep moving. And in this way, you got to run in and stay low. 
you want to take cover behind this area here and take out these guys. Eventually, you move your way forward. There is a sniper on a water tower. You always want to take down the guys on the high ground while they work low. That's one of the things I found works out well is your other gang members, they will take the guys down on the lower ground. You get here, and you got to try and get that sniper, which there we go. A few guys here, and readjust to take down that sniper. There you go, and again, you keep fighting. And I'll explain as you go along. Again, you can arm, you can get better life here, and you can shoot down the guards. I've tried using grenades. You're better off not blowing up this van and using it for cover, because these guards are going to be occupied. And there you go. They take few hits. They go down. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But you just got to keep fighting. And you don't want to blow up the van here. And you keep moving. And just follow along. And eventually you'll get to where you need. I'm going to shut up and let this keep going until the next part I want to interrupt on. Okay, you've gotten this far. After that gun battle, uh, you switch to the aerial view here, and they're bringing in some fairly heavy armored and armed officers. And this is where you, playing Johnny, want to keep an eye on the high ground. You see that tower and those walkways? There's guys up there shooting down at you. And this is where grenades come in handy. You can keep chucking them around. These guys are trying to run away from the grenades. And, <laughs> oh, that is nice. You throw that one up there. But you see those guys on the high ground? Yeah, you want to take them out. And they can really harm you and kill you if you don't take them down. And, again, you, as Johnny, want to shoot the guys on the high ground. And, yeah, toss a ton of grenades. So I'm going to let it play out where it finally gets to this situation where you finally can take down Billy. Jim will jam through these bitches in a second.
sons of bitches! Now, where you get to this point where Clay and Terry can get the bikes and you can go execute Billy. Uh, don't go and execute Billy until you've made sure all the guards are down. And once you get this last guy down, it's pretty much easy peasy to get out of this place. And there you go. The last guard is down. The other two guys are going to get the bike. Uh, Billy is over here. And I'm taking the long way here, making sure that there are no guards around. And, yeah, I'm just basically... Uh, well, I should have flipped to the pistol. I can't get to Billy this way. So now I get back this way, and there's the area where you can get to Billy. There's no sanctuary here, William. The rules don't apply to your kind. Johnny, the joke, come on, man. Billy is dead. Now, uh, Johnny, Terry, and Clay have to get out of the prison. And you just got to follow these guys out of the prison. The ride is pretty much on the way back, the same route you took to get into the prison. And once you get out of the prison, you can um, basically lead your gang back to the headquarters, or the clubhouse, should I say, and probably one of the saddest endings in GTA San Andreas, or should I say GTA history. Not San Andreas, but GTA history. It's a very sad ending. I'm going to fast forward through the ride to the Lost Motorcycle Club Clubhouse. And if you're reading a little bit, they say Billy helped build this but he also destroyed it, and he's kind of a jerk for doing it, but hey, again, I'm just going to fast forward to this somewhat sad ending. Johnny. Hey. Hey. We had fun here. <laughs> yeah, we did. But it's over. Yeah, it is. How the fuck did that happen? You know how it happens. It's that fucked up part of people, which means good is never good enough. I mean, it wasn't enough we had to be drug dealers. We also had to be outlaws, to be maniacs, to be psychos, and to be greedy. You know. Well, that combination of greed and fucked up stupidity, that works well. In the government, not so good if you're a fucking crook. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Go ahead. Let's put this place out of its misery. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Come on, man, let's get out of here.
if you skip all the end credits and everything, what happens is Johnny ends up in front of the safe house he acquired during another mission. And, well, that's it for The Lost and Damned. And ultimately, we all kind of know what happened to Johnny. He led a tragic life and decided to go out to San Andreas after all of this and join uh, a chapter of The Lost out there. And, well, again, if you play GTA V, you know what happened to Johnny. And such is his tragic life, but this kind of add-on to GTA 4, The Lost and Damned, was a lot of fun to play, and a lot of fun to do the mission walkthroughs. If you stuck with me, I thank you. If you liked any of them, or subscribe to my channel, I thank you. It goes a long way for me in trying to monetize this channel to some extent. This is just a hobby. It's fun. I enjoy doing it. But I'd like to make a, make, a, make a little money on this. It's sort of a little side hustle. And again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. Whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party I left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies.